everyone, Eric here, Nomadic Fanatic, along with Jax the Cat. Real quick before we get into today's video, regarding my video from two days ago, and my viewers' comments and everything. <laughs> Stealing a cat? Really? Is that where we're at? Guys, if you, want a, if you want a cat, if you're looking for a cat, check your local animal shelter and adopt a cat in need. I'm trying to think how I would feel if Jax escaped, and one of you who told me I'm a bad person because I didn't steal that cat, one of you took Jax. Because there's no name tag on it. Because there's no one around. Because no one saw. You know what I mean? It, it's hard for me. I'm not a bad person. I do love animals. I love all animals. And I would never take another cat that did not belong to me. I would hope you wouldn't, but reading the comments of my last video, which I actually, actually uh, disabled all the comments, I was shocked, guys. You really, really surprised me as, as my subscribers. So, um, anyway, that's all I want to say about that. We'll get into our video now. Good morning, everyone. How you doing? I was actually really excited to get back to service yesterday. <laughs> really, sometimes, no matter how nice the nature is, you still got to get back to civilization to reset. <laughs> I will be uploading this video with some Nomad internet later. Link in the video description if you need some good mobile Wi-Fi. Saying goodbye to this, the uh, Columbia River today. I will miss it. It has been very, very nice for me. Yeah. Over on the other bank there is uh, Washington State. And I'm also saying goodbye to Washington State for quite some time. Bye. 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 Yeah. Does it look cloudy and hazy? We got wildfires at, at, at the gorge. So everywhere, it looks like, like dust almost. It's, uh, it's wildfire smoke. You gotta be careful of that, you can get stuck. So with that, let's go straight south. We've been, we've been going east for a while. Let's go straight south from here today. Have some fun. It's gonna be another scorcher today, but everything's gonna be just fine. Come on with me, let's go. So I stopped here in Oregon to get some groceries and some gas. I was so happy to see gas for $2.49 a gallon. <laughs> yeah, Oregon's a little cheaper, but they have to pump it for you. Well, actually, he pumped it in the RV, and then he said I could pump it into my own motorcycle, which <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And we are greeted by a enormous, wonderful, smiling cat. Is that not John Wayne? That has to be John Wayne, right? I don't know what his connection to the, the Northwest is, but that looks like... And it kind of looks like the one from Nevada that welcomes you in there. Forgot the name of that town. But hey, John Wayne. Yeah, I don't fully understand why I'm allowed to pump my own gas into my motorcycle, but not my RV, but okay, Morgan, whatever. All right, Pendleton is where we are heading today. Wendover Will, that's who it was in Nevada. That's who John Wayne there reminds me of. Wendover Will. We're basically going to have the sun in my eye most of the day, going straight south at 11 a.m. Yeah. Ah, well. Oh, well. Deal with a little bit of sun here. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of the Washington State smoke here. Because the, I don't know, whichever way the wind's blowing. It's, wow. All right, I'll get back to here in a little bit. Do a little bit of driving towards Pendleton. It's actually getting more hazy, guys. Look at all these solar panels off to the left. I don't... I don't know if the solar is going to come through all this wildfire smoke, though. It is very hazy. I know from experience these wide-angle GoPros, they don't, they don't pick it up. You can see just fine right in front of me, but otherwise, it is very, very smoky. All right, but I'm going to take the uh, Pendleton exit here and dink around because I've never been over here in this part of the country or this town, so just gonna see how the smoke affects me if it starts to get difficult for me to breathe or something I'm okay with just darting south out of it I can chase the weather people that work around here they can't they can't change too much but I can turn this key and go wherever I have to go for any reason so yeah yeah still getting some solar I right, checked there just like when it's cloudy the Sun can still peek through and give you something definitely smells smoky out here though Gotta trek on through it anyway, though. Am I right, guys? Who's who's leading the pack here? Oh, is it an old uh, roundup down here? Holy cow! I'm in the middle of a freaking cattle run. No. Literally. Oh, look at the little border collie there. 
Are you helping like a good boy? Get him. Go get him. Woof. Woof. Pretty cool little monument. Figures there would be cattle runs in, in the West, in the Oregon. They're also calling it the high desert here. So I'm also wondering if with the high winds and the fires and everything, if we're not dealing with just a little bit of dust too, which is definitely bugging my eyes a little bit. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you in the dust. Got things to do. Oregon's very weird. Uh, if you need something from Best Buy or an auto parts store, you can't go inside and shop in Oregon. They, uh, you have to buy it online and come pick it up and they have to put it on a table you can't shop in this state still in september yeah fine whatever i'll just stay outside we got franken tank here guys looks like he's done a, a little bit of drugs because he's in bad bad shape here and they keep having to paint over the bad words and things what does this say franken tank says hi randy okay well franken tank says hi to everybody else too I just don't, don't understand how that works. So if you want to go to the thrift store, do I have to call ahead and ask for a blue shirt and pay for it? And then they put it on a table and call me when it's ready out. <laughs> ah, I, yeah, I don't. Catman Jax, does it bother you at all? Are you at all concerned? Not really worried about it then? Doesn't really matter as long as you get the kibbles and treats. All right, man, must be nice. It's not, it's not that it's necessarily hard to travel right now. It's just, it's really hard to like function outside of the RV, it's like physically moving in the RV, you can go anywhere you want in this country. It's just, you never know how things are gonna be state to state, city to city. You know, the imaginary lines where there's no COVID and there's COVID, the bathrooms that have to be closed because they have COVID, but the outhouses that can't have COVID, you can't even wash your hands outside of an outhouse. I, you know, and, and, and the laundromats. I'm having a hard time finding laundromats open. Again, not because Washington State or Oregon have mandated that the laundromats must close, but many of them are choosing to close because they don't know how to operate safely, is what they say. Last time I checked, if we're in a pandemic and trying to stay clean, laundromats are pretty darn essential for cleaning. You'd think, right? I keep trying. I can't wait to be allowed to shop again one day. <laughs> Just go to a different state, Eric. Go to Idaho. It's wide open. Now, Pendleton here is uh, really proud of their brothels. It's an old brothel across the street with uh, Madame, what's her name? Stella Darby, the Madame of Cozy Rooms Bordello from 1928 to 1967 here. Yep, lots of crazy stuff happened up in those rooms. Ooh, there's, there's a lady up there in the window, too. Clearly closed for COVID, though, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a really cool mural across the street, though. I just want to walk up here and read this. It looks interesting. Oh my gosh, an antique store. I know they would have some Mickey stuff in here. Western Working Girls Gift and Antique Shop. <laughs> Doesn't this sound good? The Pendleton Underground Tours. Any other time in my life, I'd be taking you inside here, guys. But we can't do anything indoors right now because all tours close till Umatilla County is back to phase two. Back because they went backwards. They decided to close up the state, well, the, this area again. <laughs> They're even gonna show me the magnets that I can't buy. <sighs> All right. The underground tour would be really cool. Just reading here on Google, Chinese built tunnels were conduits for illicit activities, gambling and prostitution, and actors perform reenactment in the tunnels. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, I guess if I wanna see it, I'll have to find it on YouTube, like you guys do. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm gonna chase the dust and smoke and Get a little bit farther down the road. I'm kind of looking forward to leaving Oregon, actually. So I was talking to some nice people out here uh, eating outside. Uh, it's not like a statewide thing. It's definitely just an area-wide thing. And many counties, according to their county, have gone backwards and have to reclose up. You can't eat inside, but you can eat outside in a table that doesn't have any restrictions. Now, also in this camera, I know you can't see it. It's really, really smoky above this uh, stoplight here like crazy orangey and it just looks white in the lens that's really weird anyway i'm leaving guys i'm gonna go about an hour and a half south of here try to get closer to idaho today okay all right uh interesting developments today it is crazy windy uh even the highway signs that, that used to say stay safe mask up because they want you to stay masked up wear a mask in your car while you're driving alone. Yeah, they changed it to uh, extreme fire danger with these high winds. Makes sense, and also I can't escape all these wildfires and the smoke. 
it's staying with me. You can't really tell out here. I'll put a couple pictures on your screen of what the actual trip looked like and how, how my visibility was. It was really, really bad. I ended up driving two hours south here to Baker City, Oregon. And then I heard from my sister in Idaho, my buddy in Salt Lake City, Steven in Colorado. It's everywhere. There is no escaping the wildfire smoke. The entire west half of the country is completely under smoke. It's crazy how far it extends. The wildfires are everywhere. The cute old uh, windmill there. I don't know why it's not moving. It's incredibly windy. One of the windiest days of the year right here. But it does look like it's kind of broken. Uh, yeah, we're kind of missing one of the mills and yeah. So there's no escaping. <laughs> what do we do now? I feel like, I feel like I've just been driving for nothing. Um, trying to think of what to do. I keep saying I'm in control. I can turn the key and go wherever. I mean, I guess I could just in two days be in Texas and just skip everything, skip the entire trip and just go to Texas. But lovely, lovely. I want to restart the day. <laughs> I know what put me over the edge. Um, and I know I share a lot of COVID related stuff, but that's also because I've got hundreds of thousands of viewers from all over the country and the world who are curious as to what it's like everywhere and so am i to an extent it's very strange with all the imaginary lines but i know where i went wrong today and i'm not going to show you the clip because i cussed a few times in the clip and then i don't think i responded very well to it but i went into an auto parts store there in what, P pendleton oregon wherever it was no it was before that and they they they're all locked up and they have a table out front and this guy came out with like a face shield and a face mask and a hazmat suit. And he's like, he's like acting like the police. He's like, sir, stop right there. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. I was like, what, is there a bomb? What the heck's going on? It's <laughs> like, you cannot enter this store. The only way you can get anything is if you sign up online, order your part, pay for your part online. And then you can sit in your vehicle and wait for us to bring it out to this table. And we're going to put it in this hula hoop on the table and you cannot ent exit your car to grab it until we are back in the store and have locked the door. And basically what I said is you're a buffoon. You're an idiot, dude. Come on. <laughs> and maybe it wasn't the wisest of choices. I, I think I said some other things. You're, there's no reason to do that. You're doing that for fun. You're just making light of COVID. You're literally, so you got to wait four to six hours until they can get the oil off the shelf and bring it out there. And I don't know where the heck are they going to deliver it to my RV because I can't park in the parking spot at AutoZone. I have to park two or three blocks away in a field. You going to bring it to my RV? No. <laughs> four to six hours for a quart of oil. However, I can go into Walmart right next door, shop inside in person, grab the oil myself and buy it and go. So, these businesses choosing to do this ridiculous crap, seven months, seven months after the whole 15 days to slow the spread. It's just infuriating, man. I know many of you just think it's an inconvenience, but we're getting to the point where this is just ridiculous. It's stupid. Mask up in my RV by myself. Get out of here, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna drive, blast some music, I'm sorry, guys. Holy freaking cow, guys. This is insane. Jeez. What's going on? <laughs> All right. Holy cow. I've never in my life seen this much wind. Give me a break already. Man, today is exhausting me. Should I just delete this whole day, this whole video? I don't apologize for anything. I don't. I, I, you know, if you don't like my channel, leave. If you don't like me telling you what it's actually like out here, leave. Go join some rainbow and pancakes channel that lies to you. I really don't care. Um, I'm going to camp here overnight and I'm going to try to change my mood tomorrow. I guess we'll go back to nature. I can't, I can't stand, I can't stand organs. I mean, this is, you can't, you can't do this. You can't sustain life like this. So I'll get oil tomorrow morning and then I will go back to the woods without service. What? That's pretty much how I feel, man. Yeah. 
tell you what. Although you probably already saw glimpses of these in my last video with Jax and his kitten girlfriend, uh, let me show you my uh, Mickey stuff that I got. I have a clip. I recorded uh, three new Mickey finds. Not from Oregon! <laughs> no thrift stores open in Oregon, but I'll show you that real quick. Recognize that Mickey Unlimited logo there, folks? Possibly from the three Mickey Mouse Disney jackets that I own. Oh, the same company made this. Never even opened in the box a Mickey Mouse tea kettle. Remember the I, I showed a, a little bit ago how there was a, a flower pot that had the same thing where you would grab right there and and uh, water your flowers. This one's the same thing. You can just grab it right there, tilt it, and I'm guessing the hot water comes out his finger or something like that. I haven't even opened the box to see if it's really in there, but it is sealed, and I assume that based on the weight, uh, yeah, this one was 15 bucks, a little more than I like to spend on Mickey stuff, but I'm going to keep the box, but also pull it out and display it in front of the box in my collection. Also in the box was a Mickey Mouse waffle maker. Oh, I know they did start making these and producing them in Target stores, but I never got a chance to get the limited edition version. So again, this one's still in the box. You can make your own Mickey Mouse waffles right at home. Isn't that cool? And I might. And sticking with that in the original box theme, guys. Oh boy. Yeah. Did you even know that there was an official Mickey Mouse Disney smoothie maker? I mean, I, I, I'm guessing because of the white feet that this is supposed to be Mickey Mouse, right? The only thing it doesn't have is official ears on the top. But, I mean, they're branding Mickey Mouse on the side, so it is official, and it's from Disney. It's official Disney merchandise. It even says, look, smoothie mix included. This is never opened, folks. I cannot wait to open this in Illinois, add it to my collection, or, you know, make a, make a Mickey Mouse smoothie. See, it makes me happier, so, okay, okay. Check, say goodbye to everyone. Again, if you're waiting for an apology for how I'm reacting to all this, it's not going to happen. I'm frustrated. I'll, I'll be better tomorrow. Okay, see you in two days, guys. Bye-bye.